everybody. Welcome to a Dreamweaver CS4 tutorial. We're going to show you how Dreamweaver CS4 you can connect to your site, connect to your FTP site in Dreamweaver if you haven't done that yet. So we'll click on site, new site, and I'm just going to set up flash building website Dreamweaver CS4. I'm going to call it FB Dreamweaver CS4. DWCS4. So it's Flash Building Dreamweaver CS4 www.flashbuilding.com. Next. Yes, I want to use server technology, and the one I want is PHP. You select any type you want to work with. But in these tutorials, I'm going to be using PHP and MySQL and how do you want to work with your files during development I want to edit locally then upload remote to remote testing server that's what I want and let's see my documents I already have a folder set up where I want this my five sites there it is so you can have a pre-existing folder just create it on your system and then go and refer to that when they ask you here to choose the loop local <laughs> choose the local root folder for your site I would just go ahead and make a folder and then refer to it when they ask you press select then you press next how do you want to connect FTP okay so there are one two three four five well there's four input fields here and each one of these four input fields the information that you need for this test connection to properly to uh, happen successfully those four pieces of data if you don't have them sitting in front of you then you can get them from your host company the, uh, the customer service at your hosting company can supply you with all of this data you just tell them what you're doing how you're in Dreamweaver setting up your site and they'll know if they don't they're not competent and so I'm going to place my data in and I'm going to test my connection. Okay. So if you're working in the root directory, the line that asks what folder on the test server testing server do you want to store your files in, you can leave that blank. Cuz mine tested successfully, see? You want to get this as output when you test connection there. Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully and so you just need your FTP login name your FTP password if you're using the root folder in the root directory of the website you can just leave what folder on testing server do you want to store your files in blank you can leave that line blank and usually just your www.whatever.com is the host name or FTP address so there you go so after you have a successful successful test connection then you press next Dreamweaver communicates with your testing server using HTTP just like a browser so it needs to know the URL of your site's root folder flashbuilding.com that is the one let's test it out the URL prefix test was successful now if you don't have an index page on your server yet you might not get a successful uh, output message there when you test the URL if you happen to not get success when you test URL make an index.html file in wordpad or notepad and FTP it any way you can to your server root directory then when you test URL you'll get a success message press next and you want to enable checking in and checking out to ensure that your coworkers cannot edit the same file at the same time no I don't want that because I'm working alone next Okay, so it's showing us our settings and the summary so everything went through good and press done and you'll see here you'll have your root directory right there and this is the root directory of the site on your local machine see that folder I made 
FB underscore DW. So if you want to see the other view on the server, you just hit remote view and it'll gather all the data there. See that? And then uh, let's go back to local view. So what you can do is once you're at remote view you can take your index file highlight it bring it over get files hit that green arrow get dependent files you can change this preference in the site category of the site um let's say no for now let's just show you an example of bringing that over that way we can prove that we're connected online and we're FTPing straight through Dreamweaver like we should be uh, in, in order to use the uh, PHP and MySQL built-in data objects that Dreamweaver has to offer us. Okay, so let's show it. Where is that folder? Da, 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 FB, DWS, uh, this should be, there's an index file and it put a notes folder in there for us. So there you have it. This folder was empty a moment ago. See, look, I can delete this. Yes, go on the server, grab the index page, get files, and then in that folder, bada bing, bada boom. This time it brought the dependent files with it because I didn't select it not to. You see? There's my uh, CSS and stuff and still bringing them all in. So you can just download the whole directory if you want. That's if you had any files in there, but uh, uh, index page. But yours would be empty. Just pre pretend mine's empty too. <laughs>